Hey guys, I'm going to film what I'm sure will be part one of my uh, lip product declutter. Uh, I don't even really consider myself that much of a lip person, but for some reason I just seem to have accumulated um, a vast number of lip products. Uh, and I also feel like lip products are something that you just don't want to hang on to uh, for that long. Uh, just because, you know, they're coming into contact with your mouth and whatever. Uh, so don't let this this somewhat orderly assortment uh, that you're seeing now fool you. Um, I kind of did some pre-sorting uh, to make my life a little bit easier. So these are drugstore lipsticks, these are drugstore lip pencils, uh, these are my kind of what I keep in my vanity go-to products, uh, some of them. Uh, some lip pencils, uh, I have this tray of like drugstore lip gloss type products. Uh, I have this little tray of like high-end miniatures. Uh, I have this like unopened product type uh, category. I have like high-end pencils. Uh, and then I have uh, like high-end lip glosses and lipsticks. I have, you know, these little trays and so on. Uh, so I, I didn't want to pile it all in one box after I did the hard work of decluttering. Uh, so I'm not going to kind of build a massive, uh, what's the word, like heap for you. Uh, but I'm going to try and be pretty ruthless um, as I go through these, so now that I'm looking at it, it seems, seems pretty daunting. But I guess I'll start with products that I use kind of more regularly, and let's see. I'm not including um, like lip balms necessarily, just because I don't really consider them like a beauty product, they're more of just a, I guess, skincare item. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, I guess I'll show you what I took out of my purse. I tried to, uh, you know, go through everything. Uh, so I have this Clarins, uh, what are these called? Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. This is number four. So we'll see how we do on um, swatches. So just kind of a light, a little bit of color, a little bit of sheen, nothing too crazy. And then I have this uh, By Terry uh, Balm de Rose Gloss. And um, this is kind of my, my fancy lip product. Doesn't really have much color or anything to it. Uh, they do have like actual tinted versions, uh, but this is just kind of a more liquid version of their Balm de Rose. Uh, and as you can see, I'm almost, almost used this up, so kind of happy about that actually, because like I said, I'm not really a lip person. I'm more of a compulsive uh, lip balm wear. Uh, and this is the, they never have the names on these products. Uh, it's in Rose Melody. This is, I don't even know what it's called. Um, but anyway, this is I guess like a more colorful option. It feels really nice on the lips. Uh, so those are kind of my purse uh, products. Alright, so I have um, some lip pencils and again, I don't I don't really have that many. I don't want to get too excited about them. Uh, and this is uh, just like a, a old um, Bath and Body Works jar. It's like a hobnail jar, I think they're called, from a candle. Uh, so let's see. Uh, this is called Swoon, maybe? 
Uh, it is, I haven't really used this that much, but it's a flexible like silicone applicator and uh, I think the idea is like you can take um, the lip gloss for example and uh, put this in the tube and get some product out so you're not using this on your lips and then putting it back in the tube. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, I think I did this because if you want to say apply a lip gloss like this over a red lipstick uh, you can get some of the product out without getting red lipstick back in the tube. Uh, since I'm not a makeup artist, uh, I mean using like disposable doe foot applicators is probably better for that. Um, I never understand when I see like makeup artists apply lip products straight from the applicator on clients or whatever. but. That's another story. All right, so um, I have some Urban Decay 24-7. This is Jilted. And I'm pretty bad about actually using lip liner. Uh, this is Envious. It's a pretty plum. And this is Naked. So those. Oh, and this is also from Urban Decay. This is the uh, one in Firebird that I got to match. I heard that they're reformulating their uh, lip pencils to tie in with their um, lipstick reformulation, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and this is also from Urban Decay. This is an Ozone, which can't open. There we go. Uh, and this is, it's like clear, you can't see anything. Uh, so this is one of those that you're supposed to basically use to um, keep your lipstick from feathering. And this is a similar one from Makeup Forever. It's called the Lip Line Perfector, which is clear. Uh, so I have all of those. Uh, I have this one from Star Looks. This is Tickle Me Pink. And it's not very smooth. I don't know. I might get rid of that one. I think I got this in like an Ipsy bag or something. Uh, this is MAC uh, Morning Coffee, which Looks like it needs to be sharpened. If it hasn't. That feels pretty dry. Hold on. Let's see if this um, birch box one works. This is actually a decent sharpener. Oops. For what it's worth. I think I'm going to get rid of the MAC one because the Urban Decay Naked is kind of fills the same function of like a nude and it's much smoother. Um, yeah. Sorry Mac. Uh, this is from Illamasqua. This is orange. It just says, uh, this color thrash. It says medium pencil for eyes, lips, face, and body. And that that is like super bright orange. I guess I'll keep it because I don't have any other orange pencils, but um, anyway. And this is uh, Marc Jacobs Primrose. This was in that little nudes. And that's super nice. A little bit lighter than Naked or Morning Coffee. Definitely holding on to that. Uh, this one I haven't even used. Uh, let's see. This is from Scone Cosmetics. It's a duo. It says lip and eye. And again, I can't say for sure, but my personal inclination would be that if you use a product,
product on your mouth, I wouldn't probably use it on my eyes after that. Like, kind of pick one or the other. Um, I mean, it, I don't know. It just, it, I guess it depends how... how brave you are. Uh, let's see. That's pretty. That's pretty close to, um, it's almost a dupe, really. Was that Urban Decay in Envious? Almost. Maybe a tinge darker. Um, so, I don't know how much these uh, the scone retails for, but it would be a dupe for the Urban Decay. And again, it feels, I mean, I just opened it as you saw. So, I don't know. I might hold on to that. I mean, obviously, my lip pencil collection isn't extensive. I could hold on to all of these without a problem. Um, that is a pretty kind of orangey red really. Um, feels pretty nice. And then finally I have this little Sephora. It just says real red. That needs a sharpen also. Mm. That feels pretty nice also. Uh, okay, so that is my um, lip liner collection. And again, these two are kind of dupes of other products. I might, I don't know, I might just hold on to them. I'm kind of, um, although that one you just saw me swatch, I hadn't opened before or used, but... For hygiene reasons, like lipsticks you can spray with alcohol, lip pencils you can sharpen if they're the sharpenable kind. Uh, lip glosses I would I would just toss. I don't I don't feel comfortable passing those along to anyone else. If I've used them. If I know I haven't used them then that's fine, but um, anyway. Okay, so this is another little box of products I have. Uh, so, let's see here. Uh, I have several of the Too Faced Melted. Uh, this is Melted Metallic Macaroon. Uh, this is Melted Jelly Donut. This is Melted Peony. And these, uh, you can see there's some smaller ones that came in, I don't know, samples. Melted Berry, um, Melted Nude, and Melted Fig. I think these were actually the Too Faced, um, one of the Christmas sets, now that I think of it. But, anyway, uh, holding on to those, okay, uh, I have some of the Sephora... Cream Lip Stains. Uh, this one is in number one. And this one is in number six. Uh, so I don't know what the uh, names of them are. but Oh, and this one as well. This is number five. So I will, I will swatch them for you. This is number five really pretty. I didn't swatch the Too Faced because I figured um, there's a million swatches out there. That is number one. And this is number five. So Really nice formula on those. Uh, some other Sephora products. Uh, let's see, this is the Lip Ink, 
I believe it is, a Rouge Infusion, the Neutrals, and this is in Peony. And this is more of a sheer type product. I haven't really used this too much. I kind of like the test tube look to it. Uh, and this is an oil infusion. As you can see, the uh, plastic is still on it. And this is in Bubbly Grenadine, number six. And these are both, uh, I believe, sample sizes. I don't know. They could be full sizes for all I know. But I think I got them as samples in some kind of um, gift with purchase or whatnot. Okay. So yeah, so this one, it feels a little sticky. Um, doesn't really feel like an oil. It could be. I mean, I don't think my hand is probably the best. Um, doesn't have the best ability to tell that, but. Uh, so those are all the Sephora lip products. Hopefully my hand isn't going to be too stained. Okay, so I have uh, some Stila uh, lip products here. So in here I had Besso, which is kind of their classic red. This is Bella, which is a hot Barbie pink. And uh, Venezia, which is an orange. And uh, from their holiday collections, uh, as you can see, I've gotten a ton of use out of these. Um, this one has Baki, Besso, and Rico. Um, so another one of the uh, Besso and their, I guess, newer packaging. And then in this one, there is Car Caramello Patina, which is, I think, one of their popular or more popular shades. Aria. Como, Chianti, and Fiery. So, hang on to all of those. And then I have this uh, Giorgio Armani Gloss in number 109. Which is just kind of a really sparkly uh, peachy pink. And then I have, uh, these are all Bite Beauty products. Uh, this is the one or the lip slip by Sarah Hap One Lux Gloss, and uh, I think I got this as a set with the uh, the potted version. I don't know if you'll be able to see, uh, and I do prefer I prefer the potted version for like moisturization and everything. Um, I just kind of put that in there. Uh, I have this, what is this, Miraness, it's a, I think it's a liquid lipstick, Matte Finity Lip Rouge, this is in the shade Sydney, which is kind of a moussey texture, and I have a Love of Color um, lip product, which I'm not a big fan, the packaging is a little difficult. Um, that is in Wildest Dreams. Uh, and then I have a, a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. Or a brick red. And this one in Rukuyan, which um, this is a satin lip pencil, running out of space, um, which is nice, but I think I just got this again in my Sephora play box, and I think I have another full size, and <laughs> so on. Uh, so, those are some products. This is a Bite Matte Cream Crayon and Tort. How do I open you? Okay. 
Uh, so I think this was from last year's, um, oops, like little tins. Uh, here, let me show you. Okay, so most holiday um, seasons, Bite puts out these little tins. I think this was from this last year. Um, this one is a bit, and usually they're kind of slightly different. Uh, so this one had tort and coulis. For some reason I'm finding these hard to open. Um, this one is in cafe and this one is in aubergine. Um, and as people have said, it is annoying that there isn't any sort of color indication on the pencil, so it's kind of hard to look at that and know that it's something you want to reach for. Uh, this was from, I believe, two years ago. So uh, these would be the partners to this guy. This is in rhubarb. Uh, but it came with Madeira. These are the high pigment pencils. And then this is Quince. And this is Cranberry. This is actually looks like it'd be a pretty... I think they're, they're still good. They don't have any smell or anything. Um, I might switch that one out. So... And then finally, there is a Bite uh, lip gloss, and this is number 10. So these are a stickier formula. I don't know if they make these as individuals. Um, they came in uh, this kit. Uh, this is the 15 shades of Sephora kit and uh, I guess it came out in 2013. I should probably not still have this, but oh well. Uh, so basically it is, oops, it's upside down. Or maybe it's not from that kit because they're all, alright, so I lied. Um, it wasn't from this kit. Um, basically, this one is uh, a lip gloss for each year between 1999 and uh, 2013. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think Bite is that old. I don't know if it's just 15 years. Hmm. Uh, this is their Lush Fruit Lip Gloss Formula. Yeah, still smells pretty fruity. Um, so, yeah, I just, I can't bear to part with this yet. Uh, as you can tell, I don't, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a huge lip slash lip gloss person. Um, but... I am a collector. <laughs> uh, and this is the Deconstructed Rose um, little kit, and this is what that number 10 came from. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, it just says Deconstructed Rose. I really like the packaging. I think that was probably one of the primary reasons I decided to get it. <laughs> uh, and then I will show you... This is really old. Uh, this is the Bite... Uh, doesn't really have a title. It just it says Luminous Lip Library. Uh, and it has various lipsticks on the back. And um, that's what that looks like. It has a fruit butter prep, a primer, a sheer balm, and then lipsticks, and as you can see, I've only really dug into one. Uh, it has a little brush down here and a mirror. 
These aren't really very practical because you can't take them with you to reapply, but um, I do think it's cute how it has the pans in the shape of bees. Um, so yeah, so that's my, my bite, um, I guess, collector pieces uh, collection. And I do have a couple more um, bite lipsticks that I'll show uh, coming up, but uh, that was a start. I'm at almost 30 minutes now. And I feel like I haven't really made a dent. <laughs> okay. Alright, I will, I guess, continue with the kind of my uh, rotation sort of things. So these lipsticks are also in my uh, vanity drawer. I have uh, the Urban Decay uh, Gwen Stefani in Firebird, which I haven't worn yet, but is really pretty. I very much like the uh, like fuchsia colors, as you might be able to tell. Uh, this is uh, one of the NARS Audacious lipsticks in the shade Janet. And I did uh, see, by the way, that I think Firebird is going to be in the new Urban Decay um, launch as one of their permanent uh, lipsticks. Uh, this is in Fuchsia Flood. This is one of the uh, Burt's Bees lipsticks. Uh, and these are really, they're kind of sheer, but they're also just like nice and comfortable and um, easy to wear. And then this one is Brimming Berry. So they're kind of fun. I mean the packaging is different. They feel, I mean the it's a little plasticky but uh, it's alright. And then I did pick up um, one of the Urban Decay lipsticks from the Alice in Wonderland collection. I haven't even hauled this yet. Uh, this is in Erasabeth, or Irasabeth, and it's in uh, Comfort Match. I don't know if they've released lipsticks in this formula prior to the new launch, or if this was kind of a um, precursor. So again, I mean, it's kind of cheap packaging, but um, has that fun... Um, design. Ooh. Um, so that's what that looks like. And I like it, and I like Alice in Wonderland, but I also felt like I should pick it up because, um, like my name is Beth, so I don't know. Silly logic, but there you go. Uh, and here's another Urban Decay. This is in the shade Naked much nicer packaging. So, so it's just one of their, I don't know, original lipsticks in this kind of um, packaging or vein or whatever. Uh, I have a MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Brave. It's kind of neutral. Uh, I have these little mini Estee Lauder lipsticks from the holiday collection and I kind of just wanted to um, try out the formula. So holiday collections are always a good way to do that. And they're cute. And to be honest, I mean with this many lip products, the odds of me, you know, running out of a lipstick and being sad are, you know, kind of slim. Uh, and the last one is this one, which is a bright red. Uh, so those, by the way, this is Envious and um, Desirable. And Intense Nude. 
and tumultuous. So, all right, and then I have um, these are my Clinique uh, Color Pop uh, lipsticks. Uh, I have three in the full size. And then I have four of these minis. Um, this one came in a British, uh, I forget the name of it, maybe it was Glamour, I don't know, but they had this as like a gift with purchase. Um, and then these three I purchased as a set uh, from Sephora, and I don't think that set is still available, unfortunately. But uh, I have Punch Pop, uh, Nude Pop, Beige Pop and Passion Pop, Wow Pop, Sweet Pop, and Cherry Pop. Uh, so I think those are all the lip products that I keep in my drawer, and um, I'm not getting rid of anything I just showed you, so that was kind of a futile exercise in decluttering, but uh, I feel like it's you know, it's obviously a part of my collection, so uh, I'm going to cut it off there for now and uh, hopefully pick up with this again before too long. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.